Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to PA's Perpetual Testing. Today we're looking at Levity by Seven Silhouette. Where I am being entirely locked out of the beginning of the test chamber. Alright, so, right away... Plenty of laser surfaces, or at the very least a couple of... Laser reception areas. Some tilted floors, which appear to be activated by the lasers, and... A place for the ball to go on the wall past the excursion funnel. Great! So, first thing to figure out is what the hell am I supposed to do? I... <laughs> Alright, sure. Yeah, no. Yeah, first test chamber of the day. And I'm stuck. I'm in it in. Can't even figure out how to move forward. There's a button up there that'll be able to get me the sphere. That'll be helpful. But first I'd have to activate the... Wait. That's activated by the button, so I could place a portal there and eventually get the sphere there. Great, so I know how to get there, if I can figure out how to get up. Maybe if I get some momentum? No, that wouldn't work. I've got to find a way to get myself just up higher. Got to get some actual speed here. If there isn't anywhere to get speed, I can just kind of move forward. If I had the ball, that I could get myself an excursion funnel, but I wouldn't be able to use it. And if I could get up there, I'd be able to deactivate this door, getting me to the exit. Okay, so that's where I need to get out. So, single test chamber room. Plenty of black surfaces, but also plenty of portable surfaces opening up possibilities for me, so not as restrictive as it first appears, more of an actual test. So I just need to figure out how to get up. Great. I can deal with getting up, right? Right. Presumably. Ah, shit. <laughs> Oh, well, in any case, this is, I'm actually going to be recording a couple of episodes today, to be completely and totally honest. Oh, did I just get the momentum I needed? Oh, I might have. If I can pull that off correctly, that should be able to get me the momentum I need to fly up into the air. Good, let's try that again. But yeah, I'm going to be recording a couple episodes of the Perpetual Testing Initiative today, because I'm actually leaving town. Day after tomorrow. Yes, it's true. Oh, momentum, momentum, back into the portal. Okay, we've got it. Yeah, leaving town, just visiting the relatives, but don't worry, PA's perpetual testing is going to continue in my absence. Because, after all, my lack of presence in general area does not mean that it is any excuse for not continuing with my testing. So, naturally, I'm just going to record a couple of episodes today, and I'm not quite able to get up there. Really? I don't have the... Hmm. Oh, wait, this is easy. I think... Orange portal here, blue portal up there. Oh, shit. Blue portal there. And then I'll just place my blue portal elsewhere when I fall. There we go, now I've got the momentum I needed. Oh, it's beautiful. No, oh shit, I screwed it up. All right, so very simple portal tricks, but they're actually proven to be a bit of a puzzle. I gotta figure out where in this area. Not what I meant to do. Gotta figure out where in this area I'm able to actually get the momentum I need. I think that once I actually complete the very first test, I should be alright, but you know what? Even so, I can definitely see how this is an actual... I did it again. I can definitely see how this is an actual test, because... I mean, it's actually, it's given me the tools I need. It's not told me, get there. I mean, I've had to figure out that I need to get there, but I, then I need to figure out how I'm supposed to get there. And as you can see what, from what I've already been doing, there are actually a couple of ways just to get there from the very area I started in. I mean, this is definitely the one that I'm choosing, make no mistake, but I mean, that isn't to say there weren't other ways. Now what I need to do is I need to get this to actually be held in place by the excursion funnel, so if I can activate it briefly, it should hold itself in place for the foreseeable future. Ah, oh, that's a laser. Foreseeable future. So that laser is now active. And if I can figure out some way to get that laser on these, I should be able to move forward. But first, I think it'd be better to figure out where I'm supposed to... Oh, right. I think it'd be better to activate that and figure out what's supposed to do. It's supposed to redirect lasers. Beautiful. 
Alright, so now I've got to figure out a way to activate all of these to get me up the steps. What the hell just happened? Oh, right. Okay, let's, uh, let's not activate that anymore. Got to figure out a way to activate each individual step as I pass it. Hmm. Which means I'm going to have to keep square activated, and then X, and then dot. I think that for square... I mean, there are no portable surfaces anywhere over here, so I have to manipulate this cube from a distance, so immediately that's, uh, that's actually pretty cool. I'm okay with that. But... I don't think... Let's see here. How am I supposed to do this? Oh, my. Uh... Oh, there we go. No, wait, I can't activate the excursion funnel. I was thinking I could actually have it move forward using the excursion funnel, but I can't access the excursion funnel. Plus, if I move that sphere by moving the excursion funnel in the slightest, then... I'm done. That's it. No more test. Maybe if I had it bouncing up and down between two portals. I don't know if that would actually be worthwhile, but who knows? Let's give it a shot. So... Uh, let's say blue portal here. Orange portal here. Oh, and I seem to have messed it up somehow. But that is possible, and that's what I was looking to test out. So this is going to be a really weird, fun, cube-bouncing way to get through the test chamber. But alright, we'll do it. Oh, the portal's tilted, that's why. There we go. And the short activations are still propelling them fully up to the top, allowing me to get through here. Though admittedly, maybe not in the manner I would have initially liked. Now, let's see here. I just need to place one of my portals- Oh, no! That doesn't work. Shoot. Oh, that's terrible. Um... Oh good, maybe I can actually do this still. Nope, it's pointing the other direction. Brilliant. Yeah, it points the other direction when it flips through that portal. Interesting. So maybe... There we go, and then I just put my orange portal over here and it should be firing the other direction again. Haha! -ha, there we go. Who's got it? This guy. And I just need to- oh, god. Okay, I've got to place my correct portal at the correct- oh, what am I talking about? I don't actually need to do that. But still, be pretty cool. Oh! Oh shit, laser. Alright, okay, we got it! I did it, I got through. Oh my god, this was actually... This was taking advantage of test elements that felt natural, but didn't actually feel like they were obtuse, or... They, they felt difficult, but achievable. They felt slightly obtuse, but good when you figured it out. And they actually had puzzles without being... Uh, without deviating from the intended solutions. I'd say this is a really good map. I mean, as much as... We'll see lots of test chambers that have lots of story, and test chambers that have lots of everything else. This is just a good map for being good, unique puzzles. I don't think I've ever had to do that with a laser cube before. I don't think I've ever had to... No, I have actually had to keep a cube holding itself with a button before, but that's not the point. And the method of gaining momentum was fairly simple, but still, it was... There were few enough portable walls that I actually had to think about it for a second to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. So that's definitely... I mean, that's a solid chamber. That's a good test. I liked it. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, uh, the guy may have a little bit of a little depressed avatar guy, but don't even worry about it. You're, you're much better than your little avatar guy. I mean, look at him. He's just so he's so sad. Look at that. Look at him. But you, you shouldn't be. You made a good test chamber. You should be proud of that. 
I'm trying to think of anything that I didn't like about this test chamber. I'm try uh, anything that was significantly wrong or significantly odd. I thought that the fact they locked up the test chamber while I was using it wasn't actually that bad a move. The extending walls and all that jazz. I can't think of anything significantly wrong with this. All of the labels were there showing me what I needed to activate. All of the signs were there showing me what would be activated by what. On the three steps, I didn't even have to think about it. They were laid out left to right, just like they would be if you were staring at the wall, so that worked perfectly. I mean, plus I learned something new about flinging cubes through blue and orange portals that are right next to each other, facing the same direction. Cubes switching directions. I might be able to do something with that someday. Hmm. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.